Hey folks, this is Kwabina from OpenMV, and today I'm going to be talking about our new and improved Find Displacement algorithm. So, Find Displacement is an algorithm that's been on your OpenMV cam for a while. It pretty much allows you to find pixel offsets between two images. Uh, we've improved the algorithm now on the OpenMV cam M7, so it runs faster and is more accurate. Um, anyway, so basically, Find Displacement does this. As we move the image to the right here, you can see uh, the algorithm is basically detecting the amount of pixel shifts we're getting. And we're able to actually detect sub-pixel shifts here and report that. Uh, I notice I did a bit of um, filtering on the output. So when you call find displacement, it returns a X and Y displacement object. And we're throwing a bit of ac away a bit of accuracy so that the numbers aren't too jumpy. If you take the direct output, you'll get a very um, uh, noisy number. So you want to do a little bit of filtering on it first beforehand. Anyway. With this algorithm, pretty much you can detect uh, X translation to the left or to the right, and also Y translations up or down. So this is a um, this is a demo showing absolute translation. You can also do differential translation, and this is more useful for like a quadcopter or a moving uh, system. Uh, pretty much you can use the camera to uh, detect uh, how far you've moved. So using this method, running at about 30 FPS, as you can see, we move the image and it detects a small delta here. Similar if we go up or down, it can detect that too. Um, and once you disable the frame buffer, you can see that we're actually able to hit about 43 FPS or 44 FPS using this method. And so that's uh, quite useful for a quadcopter or another robot that's uh, having the camera look at the ground in order to, to detect um, differential translation and you can then sum that up to kind of detect uh, movement. Anyway, uh, find displacement works by using something called phase correlation which uh, pretty much involves taking two-dimensional FFTs of the image. So the reason this has to run at a rather low resolution of 64 by 64 pixels is that your OpenMV cam is actually doing uh, 64 FFTs um, per row and then another 64 FFTs per column of the image. It then uh, uses that information to do something called phase correlation. Um, by the way, it has to do that FFT on both the uh, b image that we're working with, the current image, and the previous image. So it's actually doing um, 256 FFTs. And then after it uh, finishes that, then you have to do an inverse FFT again. So even more. So lots of FFTs. Anyway. This, this algorithm is just a great example of the power of the OpenMV Cam M7 and its floating point performance. Um, anyway, moving on. Uh, given that we're doing this using FFTs, you need to uh, keep the uh, image as a power of two number. Uh, using a non-power of two image will cause uh, uh, it'll cause some uh, problems um, um, with the output of the FFT due to uh, having to pad the image. Anyway. Um, find displacement can also work on uh, telling you pretty much the rotation and scale differences between two images. Um, so if you go to the absolute rotation scale script here, you can see how this algorithm is able to actually detect the uh, rotation between two images. So what we're going to do is take a snapshot here, and then we're going to rotate that snapshot by 20 degrees, and then call, call find displacement on that to see um, if it can detect what that rotation was. And so this is using um, the rotation code that we have built into the OpenMV Cam M7 now. And you can see that it's actually able to pick up that the image is, uh, has been rotated by about 21 degrees here. Let's um, just pick, you know, let's just make that negative, right? And see how well the algorithm does. So again, boom, it's able to pick up that about, you had about a 20 degree negative rotation difference. And again, it's able to do this by comparing the previous image against the current image. Um, so using this method, um, this is just for absolute, you can do the differential rotation method then to detect the, pretty much if you've opened and become stationary and something is rotating beneath it, you'll be able to detect um, between frames how much something is rotated. Similarly, you can also do this for scale to detect um, if something is zooming in or out from the OpenMV cam. In the future, we'll also enable find displacement to handle rotation and scale changes at the same time, along with translation um, changes. This is going to run at about half the frame rate that you currently see here, but it'll give you a full pipeline where you'll be able to detect translation that without having to worry about the effects of rotation and scale changes between two images. 
right now if um, the image kind of rotates when you're trying to detect displacement that'll cause a, a little bit of a problem anyway um, you can fire this method on either the whole image or you can actually execute it on patches of the image so if I do this um, we have a method that shows off kind of doing like a fly uh, a fly's eye kind of um, algorithm where we're looking at individual image patches um, so in this we're going to increase the resolution and you can see right here all of these uh, little dots are pretty much um, a fine displacement vector and so as we move the image you can kind of see them going to the left and going to the right here um, some of them are crazy and the ones that are just kind of firing off randomly is because the uh, image is too smooth in that location so fine displacement requires a certain amount of texture underneath whatever it's being used upon but as long as you uh, meet that requirement it's able to easily figure out what the uh, displacement vector was then between two images and so you can kind of see again if we move the image up or down these these lines will track that anyway um, that's the new and improved fine displacement method on your open MV cam and in the next uh, version of the firmware we're going to even increase the power even better so that it's able to also find rotation and scale changes along with translation at the same time anyway thank you for watching bye bye